we take you to the streets and neighborhoods of Matamoros, Transylvania for our latest edition of Ghost Town. I don't know what gets into you, but it's Matamoros, <laughs> Pennsylvania for our oh, latest oh. edition of Our Town. All right, I'm sorry. I got a little caught up in a moment. Just roll the Apologize. video. Apologize. Across the Delaware River, close to the nexus point of three states, and amidst a hotbed of paranormal activity, lies the sleepy Pennsylvanian town of Matamoros. At one time, it was the bedroom community for the overflow of Port Jervis when the railroads were uh, prevalent. Did this include spirit overflow? At one time, they were going to run a railroad from Port Jervis through Pennsylvania. It was going to go to Milford. I'm not sure what year it was, but in the early 1900s, the bridge washed out and uh, there was an engine left over on the side and I don't know whether the spirits of that engine still around or not, but the, the engines are gone. But um, I don't know if there's any real spirits other than that. Although I wouldn't say I'm 100% uh, sure that there aren't paranormal things that happen. But at the moment, the mayor is more concerned about the town's finances than he is ghosts. We don't have any real tax basis except a real estate in Morris is a couple little uh, businesses, mainly uh, cigarettes. Maybe my need for a Halloween ghost story and the mayor's need for revenue streams could be one and the same. Ghosts were just good business. We started at the Municipal Authority Building, where reportedly spectral shenanigans were afoot. We walked in and there was this bottle sitting in the middle of the floor. Empty soda water bottle and we don't know how it got there. Bingo. But it was too soon to celebrate. We needed verification. So I called in my friends from the New Jersey Ghost Hunters Society to investigate. This mark on the temperature. Something right up in the ceiling here. It's right over the water bottles. Yeah, well, this, what is this, like an air vent or something? Yeah, that used to be a hot air uh, dump. There's a cable right here. That's good gut feeling. How haunted do you think this place is right now? Zero. Since they were already here, we decided to investigate something a little spookier. <laughs> the old brewery caves. So we are in a cave here in Matamoros, Pennsylvania. Which had been bricked up in the back. I returned to the mayor in failure. Perhaps it was time to think about how to lure ghosts from the surrounding, decidedly more haunted municipalities. We don't want any Port Jervis ghosts. <laughs> why is that? Oh, well, why would we want them? Well, they're probably good for tourism. Oh, uh, well, that's true. Maybe we get them to come and smoke some of our cigarettes. 